guys, Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another lug unboxing. I've got a nice big multi, uh, floral multi box, and it, I mean, it's not huge or anything, but we got some stuff inside. I did place another order yesterday. I've been waiting for this surprise box that they're doing, and that doesn't come out until like the 21st. No idea what time. Uh, you can be sure I'll be there like straight away. They're supposed to send an email to let us know like when it's time, but anyways, we'll see. I'm kind of excited about something new and different and surprising. Yeah, so anyway, this box is, um, I sort of laughed because apparently I was really tired and a little bit delirious. Not anything I wouldn't have ordered, but I was not my priorities. So I don't know if I... I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it. Oh, you know, it takes a while to, anyways. Blah, 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 lug mail. <laughs> okay, um, I'll open the box and then I'm just gonna set it aside so that we can, you know, get stuff out. Okay, so we got papers, so it's all about the family. Doing ma making masks to do our part. Register and, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. I did intentionally make this order. And uh, I think the funny thing about it was I did all of this just to get the two hearts that I wanted, but I was damned if I was gonna pay for shipping, so I had to buy more. Yeah, so there's that. And um, unfortunately, the free tote with purchase had gone away by then, because I think I would have qualified. I don't know. It doesn't matter because I have like all the patterns, but yeah, the prices aren't on inventory. Anyway. So we got another mask. This looks like another walnut mask. I'm only gonna take it out since that's what it is, but lug cares. And this one does not have that coupon on the back. That's okay. Oh no, sorry. The coupon was on the luggage tag, which guess what? I got also. Um, and I don't even know what the name of this one. It looks like a, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna try and butcher it, but anyway. I, I know the pattern, I'm just spacing on it. I don't have anything in it, but because it's black and blue and yellow and like that walnut color, it'll match with a lot of things. Specifically, it matches my puddle jumper wheelie and it does have the coupon on here, so that's cool. Uh, all right, so the main event. We got two hearts and <laughs> side story, story time. Yeah, so I wanted Bloom Black, because Bloom Black is my favorite. And so when that swivel and heart combo came out, I was on it. Now, I've already ordered a couple hearts because the solids came out first and I ordered those with the previous stuff. But then when they came out with all that other stuff in the heart patterns, I ordered the right away at the QVC. I ordered that Bloom Black swivel with a heart. And I thought about it, I'm like, really? I, I like this swivel, it's great, but it's not my size. I, I either like smaller or bigger. It's kind of in that middle no-go zone for me that I have well covered already. So anyways, I ended up canceling the order with QVC and thankfully it got canceled in time. But the reason I canceled it, I would have totally got it anyways, just to get the heart. Um, but then they came out with the hearts, so I didn't have to buy something I didn't need or want to get it. So now I have a heart. Actually, I'm really, really happy with that placement. It's not um, as like a solid inter, um, intact flower like centered, but it has flowers, it has the teal and the pinky purples, and then a nice leaves right there. I mean, you can tell what it is. So that's really cool. And that is almost intact flowers, actually. And then on the back, actually, I got really lucky, and I did. I got leaves, I got a couple different kinds of flowers, fully intact. I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I got really lucky. So, beautiful heart with the clippy. We, ha we have looked at these already, but just in case you haven't seen them, they zip all the way around and they open up pretty wide. So you can see the inside. The only gotcha is if you put coins in it and you're unzipping them all the way, then the coins will fall right out the bottom. But if you don't unzip it all the way, your coins will stay inside. So just a little bit of a thing there. But credit cards do fit in those, so that's pretty cool. Let me stick that sticky down so I don't stick myself to it. Okay, and the other one I got is Tropical Fog. 
Now, on my last haul, if you saw that, I did get one in brushed gray. Again, I ordered that to go with my Heather Gray stuff, which it does match pretty well. And we'll see that in the next, one of the next couple of videos. I have some comparisons to do for you. But it does match Heather Gray really well. But prior to that coming out, uh, or I mean, that came out first, but then of course, Tropical Gray. I have a couple things this will go with, which is great. It also matches very nicely with the Heather Gray, specifically my Apollo that is Heather Gray with the <laughs> Tropical Fog. But anyway, so it's great. Nice, I got all the colors. So I got on the front more of the black and gray, but I did get a, you know, a love word right there on the front. And then on the back, I got the tan and then, you know, black and gray some more. But anyways, it's good. It's great. So that, and then, just to get the two hearts, I went ahead and got um, a Shimmy SE in Midnight Black. Everybody's been talking about these. Not, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people have really, really loved their shimmies. Um, so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I figured I'd give it a, give it a try. I, I definitely am a fan of a mid-sized handbag. I like options and organization too so anyway let's see i got black because i just thought it was kind of a classic look i do also have the wind jammer so i have like big sister hanging out in the back room waiting for her so cool 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 let's look at it we got front pocket which is fleece lined so i assume that's the phone pocket so let's see my iphone success plus fits very nicely you do have to tilt it in but no biggie there oh that Fleece is not completely tacked well, but that's it. I love those slick zippers, so smooth. And I really like this houndstooth quilting, it's pretty cool. Okay, second pocket is up and around, and that's really not actually pretty spacious. It does have a little bit of a gusset, so I mean, you have a good half inch or more um, right there, which is nice. It has a little bit of a built in wallet with six card slots on the front. No clear ID window, no zipper pocket, anything there. That's totally fine. Actually, this is a great configuration. And then where I would put my sunglasses in this fleece line pocket there. And I know some people don't like this interior, but frankly, I think it's fine. And, and it goes pretty well. It makes a little psychedelic, like, yeah, get you all dizzy, but no, it's like, hey, it matches my shirt. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. Okay, I did not plan that, okay. Um, so that pocket and then the next pocket is a magnetic. I do love magnetic pockets and ooh, Inside we have a card of course and the, oh, and a desiccant. We don't need that um, But inside this pocket, it's actually just an open pocket except it has on this side one of the key fobs in here So there's a little loop. I don't know if you can see this very well there's just a loop that that hooks on to, and so you can, of course, disconnect. Okay, you can't disconnect it right now because it's hooked on by that little plastic. Not anymore. Yeah, that little shipping, you know. So you got your little black key fob with the spiral. So you can hook your keys on that um, and use it. Or not, you can do whatever. Also hook this back on here, so forget it where it came from, where it goes. Okay, so that's all that's in that pocket. And actually that's a great place to put my keys. Got a little stringies. Okay, next, let's look at the back pocket here. It is a zipper pocket on the back. It is a basic pocket. It does cover the whole panel of the bag. There's nothing inside, it's just a pocket. The back is just plain. Okay, now to the inside. We got a strap, removable, adjustable. And then inside we have a big clear window on the front of the bag. And then on the back of the bag, we have two cargo pockets, two elastic cargo pockets. You can kind of see that. So that plastic um, clear view pocket is really big on the front. That's quite nice. And it's one big pocket, not subdivided, which actually I like. You can make your own division there. And that is uh, almost it for the inside. Inside one cargo pocket, right here, there are two pen slots. And that's actually what I was looking for to see if there was pen slots. I couldn't remember. But sure enough, they're inside the cargo pocket, which doesn't detract from the cargo pocket at all. 
At least I don't think so. Um, it is a recessed zipper down there and the top does, you know, have that slack. So, you know, some bags, if they have a top zipper, they have to come to a point to zip. So having the, the zipper the way it is with the flaps, it gives you just a little extra capacity at the top where, so you got there a couple inch, an inch and a half maybe. Um, so if, if you have trouble overfilling your bags, if that's a problem for you, I don't know, but okay. So that's the inside. And one more thing on the outside is this um, water bottle holder or rain umbrella, whatever you want snap closure with the elastic cargo pocket for your drinks and whatnot. You could use it for other things. You could put your phone, you could put other stuff. And then it snaps closed, so it's very discreetly stowed away when not in use. And I do like, because I'm right-handed and I wear a crossbody like that, um, I actually like that it's on the back because then I'm not banging that hard thing all the time with my hand. It's a funny little thing, but that's how I roll. Plus, I usually like to have my hand sanitizer hanging on the front clip so that it's right there where my hands are easily, you know, I don't have to swing the bag. <laughs> Alexa, stupid. Um, I don't even know what she just said, but she shouldn't have been saying anything. It's kind of creepy weird. Okay, uh, and then the last thing, oh, 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 oh. Before we get to the dots, look, I got a pen! Yay, so we got a mask, a lawyer's tag, and a pen, and it's my rainbow navy that I've been wanting. So that's exciting, really exciting. Yay, another pen that I don't have. Okay, the last item, though, that I bought is the Hatchback 3 in Crimson Large Dot. Now, I do like Crimson Large Dot. I think it's a happy pattern. I do love Disney. I love Mickey and Minnie. Um, yeah, in fact, I was supposed to be there in 10 days and that got canceled, unfortunately. Stupid COVID. But I've really crept into it. So I had a coin pouch and the only reason I had that was because it came as a set of three with two other ones when I bought them, um, new with tags on eBay. And then I just recently got the Crimson Large Dot tote because it was free. <laughs> so I got that, but I just thought you know, I'm going to the parks. Of course, this is before it got canceled. I'm going to the parks. I'm going to spend a week there. Um, and I'm going to go back. I mean, I, I yeah, I'm, Disney's a thing. So I went ahead and got a park bag, <laughs> which will get used for other things too. And I figured, gosh, when I am done with it, you know, however many trips down the road, or if I decide I didn't want it, I've got nieces and nephews. Um, well, obviously, the nephew probably not too interested. <laughs> It's a blabby kind of day sorry I'm just rambling um but the girls the girls would really love that and and my youngest niece is actually named after me which is super cool so it'll be a fun hand-me-down but anyway options lots of options but the hatchback 3 is a great backpack I really really like it there's um, a lot of storage and it packs a punch for a little bag um, you could use it for a purse backpack it's not my first choice for that um, just because I have other ones that I just are but I totally would um, although I would probably use my Heather Gray one for an everyday thing. Nothing wrong with this. It's just a little bold for my daily thing. We'll see, though. I'm broadening my horizons. Okay, so first thing, you have a pocket up front. I do like the interior pattern as well. I think it's like faux Mickey heads, um, which is really cool. I mean, color-wise, I'm like, ah, that could have been something else. But it works. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like Mickey themed. Okay, front pocket here. Nice small pocket. Um, plenty of things fit in there just fine. Um, not that you need to put your cell phone there, but it does fit horizontally there as well, which is really nice. So that's good. And then the main pocket is this front thing, and it is double zip. And you open it up, you have, well, first, let me move this. You have two cargo, <laughs> everything's in the way, two cargo pockets in the back. They're, one of them is lined. Wait, they're both lined. <laughs> they are both lined. So you can use that for smaller tech or you can use it for sunglasses or phone, or whatever, um, or just regular stuff. And then on the front, you have a big cargo pocket for the bottom half of the flap. 
The top half you have the clear pocket, which is great. You can see, obviously you can get into it very, very well because the whole flap flips up. Um, and then the bottom of the bag, you actually have a pretty good amount of space. So it is a really decent sized bag. I would say it's a medium backpack. You have a nice wipeable surface on the bottom. No feet, but it is wipeable bottom, which is great. Um, okay, so that's the inside. Let me put this back in here. We've got to protect the plastic. Okay, so one thing also, in case you haven't watched my other hatchback video, this is uh, my iPod, iPad 12.9, iPad Pro 12.9. And this is just the case, but it does fit in here. So you, you just put it in and then see how it has not quite enough room, but this is a hooded top here. So you just kind of tuck it up and under and that fits very nicely. The cool part about the way that it fits is it's not going to fall out either. So the bad part is now you can't access those two um, cargo pockets behind it very easily. So it's a trade off, but if you did want to carry a big iPad or a small laptop, you totally can because that's pretty big. So that's cool. Um, definitely a solid point for me to be able to grab and go. Not that I'll be taking it to the park, but like I said, that's not the only place it'll ever get used. We have two very nice cargo slots. Our um, cargo pockets on the side, they are magnetic, so they tuck in nicely when they're not being used. But we're not done yet. Now, the straps, they have the no-slip grip on the back, so they're not gonna be sliding around off your shoulders. This is especially great if you're using it, like I feel like me and you do a person, you just throw it on one side, because Maybe you don't need to be completely hands-free, but you're just doing a short distance or something, you just throw it on the shoulder. This will not slip off quite as easily, which is great. It has a really nice carry handle. Excuse me a second. Hi, Lucy. What you doing? She doesn't normally come and say hi during videos, so we have to take a moment. Hi, sweet girl. She's trying to tell me, though, that it's time for dinner, but it's not yet. Almost there. Hi, baby. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, well, you can stay there. That's fine. I'll just keep petting you. But I need my hand. Anyway, sorry, I digress. What? Did you see her nose? Hey, <laughs> silly girl. I know. She had a... She's been very clingy today. Oh, baby. Okay, so on the back. You got your... Well, you got your pair handle we were talking about. And then on the back, you have your phone pocket proper. So even though I showed that it can fit in the front, this is the pocket design. Alternatively, like I said, you can put your sunglasses here or whatever glasses or however you want to use it. There is another pocket here. It's Velcro pocket. It is the full back panel, so it's quite a good size. Um, so one thing I would say about that is that's up against your back. So you don't want to put pokey, pointy things back there that's going to be irritating you the whole time you're wearing it. And then there is another pocket here on the side, and this pocket is also fleece lined, and it goes basically all the way across like this, I mean the width of my hand, kind of like this, all the way across. So great, great pocket there too. And that's a little more discreet. So for me, that's probably where I would put my wallet, because it's up against my back, it's a little less easy to pickpocket in a crowded park or other things, things like that. So those are just my thoughts, but it is a fun backpack. I am really glad I got it. I kind of forgot that I ordered it, but that totally makes sense. And unfortunately the trip's canceled, but there will be other trips, so yay. And that is it for this haul. Um, coming up, we have some comparisons, so stay tuned. Don't forget the washi washi. Bye for now.